New at 10, a Wisconsin doctor claims Aaron Rodgers is misleading the public when he come when it comes to COVID-19. She spoke to Taylor Lumpkin about the letter she sent to the Packers about the benefits of the vaccine. In an open letter, recent Medical College of Wisconsin grad Dr. Allison Neitzel is holding Aaron Rodgers accountable for his spread of misinformation regarding the COVID-19 vaccine. And now she wants to set the record straight. It's just disappointing as a as a Wisconsinite, as a Packers fan um, and a doctor. Just like many Green Bay Packers fans across Wisconsin, Allison Neitzel says she was surprised to learn that Aaron Rodgers was not vaccinated against COVID-19. But what was even more surprising to Neitzel was the statements Rodgers made about why he wouldn't get the vaccine. We're fighting this twin pandemic of coronavirus, but also this, this misinformation. Are you vaccinated and what's your stance on, on vaccinations? Yeah, I've been immunized. Rogers later said he did not get vaccinated because he's allergic to one of the ingredients. He says instead he's been taking the drug ivermectin. He questioned the effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccine because of breakthrough cases. Statements that Neitzel says is doing more harm than good when it comes to fighting the pandemic. It does feel a bit like there's, you know, he's actively undermining what we're trying to do. Which is why Dr. Neitzel wrote an open letter to Rogers and the entire Green Bay Packers organization on Twitter in hopes of shedding a light on the benefits of the vaccine. In the letter, she writes, quote, that fully vaccinated individuals are 10 times less likely to experience hospitalization and death from COVID-19 infection and that breakthrough cases are expected because each person's immune system is different. Teach him about the vaccines, about the, the safety, the efficacy, the public health impacts. And she hopes by having this conversation, Rogers and the medical community can move forward as one to help beat this pandemic. He's in a position to really motivate uh, the state of Wisconsin and, and the nation at large. Uh, to get vaccinated instead of furthering this this divide. Let's open doors in Milwaukee. Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News.